not on crack. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, okay, tell me, dude. So, um, where I left off, with Sal was talking about how the clinics kind of give you a, maybe don't really, uh, when it comes to coming off of methadone. Right. Maybe uh, don't do it the way you want to do it. So, right. Um, which probably a combination of money and but also maybe some genuine concern for because a lot of people come off methadone and they, and they go back on it and yeah they go back or they go back to heroin and yeah. then they overdose and die you know? right so I, there's some genuine concern for that and i also gotta say i, I truly believe that methadone saved my life okay word up man that is some positive thinking right there man that is that is true testimony. Like we support pound it, brother. We, we support you hundred percent, dude. Like we, I am, this film is truly about recovery and I know people relapse. That's nothing to be angry about, but if it did that for you, man, then speak to why it did that, man. Tell, tell us how it worked for you. Well, it, it made me able to, to, to function because I didn't have to worry. You know, I, 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 I wake up sick you know and then yeah. I could go there and get my medicine so then I don't have to do anything illegal or, or right. any you know so you know it keeps me from getting arrested and then it, and then it makes me able to you know I, go, I get up early go there at like 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock in the morning and then uh, I can go to work or right. you know go, go to college classes. Yeah. Or, or Where do you go to college, dude? Not, I'm not in classes right now. Okay. Uh, but uh, I was I was going to UConn and then nice. when I came here I was going to Gateway. Good. Uh, and I and I want to start back again because I have like two years worth of credits. That's that I outstanding, dude. Finish. Yeah. Uh, but that that's the way it helped me like you know it, it's and like and I so it provided it it, it, oh, it provided stability, stability. Too. okay and yeah it, and I, now I'm in a good routine of uh, um, getting up early going going to the clinic and you know they also offer other they have vocational services they okay have, they have their own psychiatric services where is this clinic uh i go to the app foundation okay uh, that's a good one actually the, the, their headquarters is right here in Longworth. Oh, okay uh, they have several clinics in New Haven. Okay, uh, so would you say the way they did things was helpful? But did you have any other things you'd like to negotiate with them around? Would this would be better, or that would be better, or you just weren't complaining? You did the program and it worked for you. Um, well, I did the program and it worked for me. And, I, and actually, I was homeless when I started. And, okay. Uh, uh, and I'm housed now. Um, yeah. So, and they helped me with that too. Good. They pointed me in the right direction. Um, yeah. It was another agency that called Connections yeah. that helped me get housed. Okay. Uh, but I, I wouldn't have known to even go there if it wasn't for uh, the app. For um, apps, yeah. So, I mean, they, they, they don't do everything right. Um, right. And, you know, I, I, who does everything right? I, I mean, I don't know. But uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one. No one. Yeah. That's right. That's true. But that's the point we're making. No one does everything right. So you always have to, like, speak to the right. You know yeah. what I mean? But, so I think, I think one of the problems is that the, all the, the, there's so many different clinics, and every clinic does things in a different way. Right. So I, I think maybe there should be a little more... Uh, standardization standardization of the okay yeah, it, so, yeah. Like some some clinics are zero tolerance for anything like you yeah. relapse once they kick you off right like, and they're very strict so you don't some like the strictness probably back. yeah um well, not necessarily okay. i mean i you know there should be some some limits but uh, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I, I don't think that people should, you know, be kicked off immediately if you're screwing up one time. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. But yeah. it's not like it you don't. Help. You wouldn't want it to be totally lackadaisical. Like structure no. helps. Oh, yeah. Like they gotta pound that into you, man. Yeah. They gotta hold you accountable. That builds your own sense of responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. That regulates your body with the dose yeah. that treats yeah. you effectively. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, you, so, anyways, you had you had a good experience with them. Yeah. And you're testifying that it worked. But let me, last question I want to ask you, because we don't want to go round and round in circles. This has been great, but um, when you decided you needed the methadone clinic, what advocated either within you or amongst your peers for your right to recover? How did you get into recovery? What did you say to go there? It's interesting. I was actually, uh, I, I had some concern about getting on to another controlled substance that I'd essentially be addicted to. Um, yeah. 
but uh was it um, you don't have to say but was it method was it a method what's that was it was it crystal no no i was not i was using heroin okay okay yeah, yeah. A lot of heroin. Um, yeah. that was my problem opiates uh, yeah my problem. so uh all right uh The question was like when you first entered recovery, oh, okay. you something within you changed, yeah. and you told yourself you deserved it, or someone told I you to go there. I wanted to stop using, and I had already tried. Re I'd gone inpatient rehabs, thirty days, six months, many times. Um, yeah. I'd had periods of clean time, but I always ended up going back and not going back just once, but going back and getting addicted and strung out. And yeah, and it's the, tough. And the wheels fell off. Yeah. Me. So. When I was talking with my mother, I was, I was with my mother at the time. We were trying to figure out what to do because she'd already kicked me out, homeless, you know, a couple yeah, times. Yeah, my mom did that, that to me. Fuck. Yeah, that, none, none of that helped. So we were talking about like what can really be done. So she had picked up a book called uh, Clean by um, I don't remember the author's name anymore. He's but a clean, we'll remember journalist. Yeah. The name of the book is Clean, and it was okay. written by a very the journalist who had a son who, who died of a heroin overdose so he got very interested in addiction and recovery and he studied and that it book a did it for, that helped so you this book made me come to the conclusion that medication assisted therapy was the way to go brother speak on it we'll talk to you later okay okay all right thanks bro